In the field of medicine, using computers and technology means doctors can save patient information digitally and share it with other doctors easily. This change in technology is helpful in many ways. In the past, doctors acted like they knew everything and didn't listen to their patients. But this way of doing things doesn't work well anymore. Making summaries is hard work and needs a good understanding of the topic. It takes skill and experience to pick out the main ideas of what someone has written. Because of this, a lot of skilled workers have to spend time making summaries instead of doing other useful things. The amount of money that American students owe is really huge. On average, a student who graduated from a U.S. university in 2015 and borrowed money to pay for school owes, 000 when they start working. Altogether, American students owe more than $0.15 trillion, which is way more than the money people owe on credit cards.
Scientists from the University of Adelaide found out something new and important about barley grains that are used to make malt. They discovered a connection between a special part of the grain and one of the enzymes that make malt. This new information could help make better beer or create new types of malt for small breweries. The scientists wrote about their discovery in a magazine called Scientific Reports. One thing that makes online shopping special is that sellers can make their stores really fun to use. A great way to make shoppers happy is by adding tools that help them choose what to buy. These tools can change the online store to match what each shopper likes best. For the past 70 years, we used a lot of money to prevent floods, and this helped many people and saved us lots of money. We made dams to stop the water from coming, built walls to protect people, and made old walls taller.
Recycling means making new things out of old things. This is good because we don't need to use as much new stuff from nature. If we don't recycle, we have to get new things by digging them up from the earth or cutting down trees. Recycling helps keep important materials safe and keeps animals' homes safe for the future. Many men are running for the Republican Party, but some women are speaking out against Hillary Clinton. In 2012, the Democratic Party said that the Republicans were against women, but in 2014, it didn't work so well. Now that Hillary Clinton might be the Democratic leader, winning women's votes will be a big part of the 2016 election. People see furniture in three main ways. Some think furniture is only for using, so they don't care what it looks like. Others think furniture is important for living well, so they care how it looks and how it fits into a room. These people care about how it looks and what it does. Finally, some people think furniture is like art.
During the Romantic time, expressing emotions in artwork became important. Artists wanted their artwork to make people feel things like wonder or sadness. They wanted people to react to their artwork emotionally. This is still true today as artists want people to feel something when they look at their artwork. For a culture to work, its members need to follow its rules, people have to want to follow the rules and fit in with the culture, this means they need to learn what's normal and important in the culture, and then teach these things to their kids. People who know a lot about history and art talk about why going to the theater was important in ancient Athens. They use things like old pots and pictures to learn more about what theater was like back then. They want to understand how theater was connected to the politics and culture of Athens.
In this class, we will learn about how department stores, popular brand products, cars produced in large numbers, and suburbs changed America's economy, society, and politics. The class is arranged by themes and time periods, with each period focusing on a new development in consumer culture's history. Tortoises come in different sizes and their shells have different shapes depending on where they live. The shell is made of bone and is usually brown in color. Their ribs, backbone and breastbone are part of the shell, which means that you cannot remove the tortoise from its shell. In the late 16th and 17th centuries, some people from England, France, and the Netherlands moved to North America hoping to find gold and silver, however, they did not find any, so, instead, they had to grow crops that they could sell in Europe, like tobacco, indigo, and rice, to make a living.
The world around us can be dangerous, and as more people travel and engage in leisure activities, they are more at risk of encountering life-threatening situations. While the human body can adapt to some degree, it is not able to handle toxic substances or long-term exposure to extreme environmental conditions. We want to make college education better for students by helping them aim for success and advance in their learning. We should include fairness and variety in all our actions, as an educational institution and an employer. Our aim is to prepare our students for jobs, university, and being responsible citizens, by giving our teachers the tools to achieve these goals. How fast is the number of people in the world increasing? The United States and other developed countries have a low growth rate now. However, in most developing countries, the number of people is growing almost three people every second. Because of this fast growth, the human population is on track to reach 9 billion within a lifetime.
Academics create their own personal collections of books to help them with their work and reading in their area of study. They purchase or copy materials to refer to often and add notes to them. When they start studying a new area, they expand their collections by focusing on original texts. For the past 70 years, we've invested a lot of money in protecting people from floods. We've done this by building dams to hold back water and levees to prevent water from reaching people. We've also raised the levees that were first built in 1718. Thanks to these efforts, millions of people have been protected, and we've saved billions of dollars.